This video is sponsored by Mark 7 Car Wash Equipment, providing clean, dry, shiny cars for over 50 years. Visit mark7.net for more information. Hello and welcome to another episode of Unscripted, the video series that connects you with market leaders. Today on our Unscripted video, we're happy to welcome Melissa Perkey, Vice President, Car Wash Division Leader at Assured Partners. Hello, Melissa. It's great to see you and thanks for doing this with me today. Hello, Rich. Thank you so much for having me on your show today. All right. So, uh, Melissa, you know, as you know, a lot of uh, new operators are entering the industry and, uh, and old operators, you know, veteran operators really need to, uh, to brush up on insurance uh, needs as well. So wanted to get you on the program to, uh, to discuss some insurance matters that really all car wash operators need to know. So uh, my first question for you, Melissa, is uh, what are the basic insurance options new and existing operators must have? today in the industry? That's a great question, Rich. Um, well, basically, new and existing operators uh, should always carry general liability and property coverage. Uh, those are two of the most imperative coverage in your policy package. Um, also, we recommend that you do carry workers' compensation coverage, even if you're located in a state that does not require you to have it. For example, Texas, uh, I'm located and based out of Texas. However, we have a nationwide presence. Texas doesn't actually require that car wash owner operators carry workers' compensation, but we highly recommend it and strongly encourage it. Just in the event that any of your employees should get hurt on the job, it's a very good coverage to have. Yeah, one of those cases, better to be safe than sorry, right? We hope nothing happens, but if, uh, if it does, you're covered. So Absolutely. You know, Melissa, we've uh, over the years we've written about garage keepers uh, liability coverage in the magazine and, and also online uh, for those washes where the customer uh, stays in the vehicle or doesn't have an employee uh, inside the vehicle. So talking about self-serve in bay automatic and express exterior formats is garage keepers liability coverage necessary and why or why not? Well, basically, and, and that's a great question, Rich, um, to, to sum it up and make it easier, if you have a tunnel or a conveyor in your car wash operation at all, we recommend that you do carry garage keepers liability coverage. Also, if you have a full service or a flex model, we recommend that you have garage keepers liability coverage. If you have a self-serve operation, meaning there's absolutely no tunnel exposure, no full service, and, and no flex, no detailing operations at all. If you have a self-serve, that is the only time that we say, okay, go ahead and, and refrain from getting that garage keeper's legal liability coverage. Is there another type of insurance self-serve operators would need in place of that, or is it just not necessary? Not in place of. Um, that's a really good question. Uh, it basically is an optional endorsement, so it's an optional coverage to have on your policy. So they would just not select that option on their current policy. So going back to the first question, um, for self-serve owners, they would want to carry at least general liability and property coverage, um, possibly workers' compensation if they have enough employees to warrant the need, but they would not need to cover the garage keepers' uh, liability coverage. Okay, gotcha. Obviously, every car wash is uh, unique. Every area of the uh, of this great country is unique. So, can you explain some of the variances and nuances that that affect insurance premiums and needs from location to location? Absolutely, I would say some of the top reasons that can affect insurance premiums from location to location. You're looking at exposure based on where the actual car wash is located. Uh, for example, if you have a car wash on the coast, you're looking at a coastal hurricane exposure, especially if you're located in Florida, you're going to see a little higher of a premium for that. If your car wash is located in Central America, let's just say in Kentucky, it's not close to a hurricane exposure at all. Um, you're not going to pay extra premiums for that uh, hurricane exposure. However, you're in Tornado Alley, so you may pay higher premiums for being in that location. Honestly, it, when you're searching to select a new location, it's important to make sure that you are not in a high crime area. Um, if you're in a high crime area, that can very, very much increase your premiums, as well as 
if you file multiple claims over a short period of time. Um, so it's important to make sure that even though you have your policy deductible, I, I always recommend having a higher threshold of funds that you would keep just in case you need to pay out of pocket on a claim. This will protect your loss ratio, which will pr protect your premiums for about three to five years. All right, understood. Well, let's talk a little bit more about uh, filing claims here. And a final question for you, Melissa, is... Uh, in the case of such occurrence as, as an accident or uh, damage or natural disasters, what can an operator do to expedite claims? There's a couple of different things that can happen in the event that there's a, an accident, damage, or na natural disaster. Um, that can be a pretty big loss. So you want to call your agent first and foremost. Now, every insurance company gives out the carrier's claim department and their 1-800 number, but you should also have your agent's phone number just in case of emergencies. You can always call the 1-800 number, uh, the claims department, to go ahead and open the claim as quickly as possible, especially if it's a, a large event like that, a large loss. But you can also call your agent to expedite that claim. So that's kind of what we're here for as your agents. Some are better than others at responding, right? At Assured Partners, we try to respond pretty quickly to our customers' needs um, and make sure that everybody has a relationship with their agent. Um, but again, you do have that 1-800 number just in case it's on a weekend, middle of the night, and you can't reach somebody. And then we, we definitely encourage that you contact the carrier to open the claim if you can't reach your agent immediately. All right. Sounds good. Well, uh, it was great seeing you again today, Melissa. Thank you for taking a few minutes to, uh, to answer these questions and I uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Rich. I appreciate it. It's been a pleasure being on your show and uh, thank you so much. Hope you have a great rest of your day.